We had a guy named Warren join our real estate photography coaching program last year. And within a number of months, he went from zero to $15,000 per month. And on this video, he's going to share exactly how he did that and what led him to build his business so quickly and how he was able to actually do that in the first place. Now, what you'll notice is that Warren put in a ton of work and he grew his business very quickly as a result. What I'm not saying here is that you have to model Warren if you want to grow a business. Not everybody needs to grow their business so quickly. And if you're anything like me, you need your sleep, which you'll learn more about in a second when you listen to Warren. And so don't feel the need to feel that you have to do it this fast or not at all. But hopefully this inspires you to see what's possible if you want to spend the next six months of your life grinding to build a business that will really help you for the long term. And even if that's not you, I'm sure you'll learn a lot from Warren and what it took him to build his business. So a little intro about myself. I'm, my name is Warren. I'm 23 years old. I graduated college actually this past spring um, last year. And then I joined coaching in May, started about May 15th or so, 2023 on my coaching journey into real estate photo and video. And I presently work nights in the operating room. So I'm in Utah, based in Utah, working in the operating room, doing 40-ish hours at night per week. And I was like, well, you know, I've done headshots. I've done like the run of the mill freelance photography. And I was like, okay, well, I got to choose my niche, found my niche. And here we are today. So um, with a full-time job, balancing a business is incredibly tough, especially while working nights. I initially actually wasn't working nights. I was working during the day, trying to find some time. I was like, well, how can I serve my realtors? How can I serve the people who are my clients? Give them more flexibility, give them more time, and give them more value. And that's where I thought, well, I might have to do a personal sacrifice in order to meet those criteria that I just listed. So I was thinking, well, if I open up my nights, I work my nights, then I have more time during the day to shoot. And it all came down to one, am I prepared to take that leap and really say, okay, this is all in on my business. And this is something that I need to do. And I told myself, yes. So I've been working nights the past six months in order to make that reality happen. And so as Eli was saying, I got into the coaching program. I was like, well, I need help. If I'm really going to go into this, switch to nights, work nights, did my business during the day. I would literally go from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. working my night shift in the operating room from 7 a.m. to it was about maybe 7 ish, 8, 8 p.m. ish if I was doing twilights for summer and then maybe working until 5 p.m. during the winter months and then doing that for several days in a row. And I don't recommend it to anybody. It is incredibly tough. However, what I do recommend is to find the things that you really enjoy and really want to do. And if you have to make that sacrifice, and I still had to work a full-time job. I still had to make sure I could provide for the people I care for and also pursue the business side of things. So that was a decision that I was able to make uh, kind of upfront and really commit to myself. And yes, I haven't had sleep for about five-ish months, six-ish months since I've been doing that. And that's okay because now I'm coming out of it is now I'm in a great position in order to, to do that. So yes, it was a safety net, but it was also a mindset shift. It was taking, can I actually do this? Do I want it enough? And really going all the way and saying, this is the only way it can work. And this is how I'm going to make it work. And it really, it's whatever it takes. It really is whatever it takes. Like if you have that motivation and you have that drive and you have that mentality, like I need to make this work, not because I'm worried, because I'm, I'm strong enough to make this work. Like as Eli was saying in the previous session, like having a business isn't like detrimental to anyone. If anything, it helps so many more people. And if you have that capacity, you have that drive, that energy, that enthusiasm, you can really get out there and make a huge difference if and only if you commit to yourself and also commit to those actions that facilitate your success. And like working 24 hours sucks. So don't recommend it, but like go forward with that mentality of really going out and crushing it. Even if you're working 18 hours a day, I was working 24, you guys can do 18. I know you can, 
if you really want to. So, and this is like the beginning stages of the business. Now I'm reeling back. I'm actually quitting my full-time job. I'm quitting nights saying yes to health, no to nights and not health. And it's, it's fantastic. Like it's looking very up from here, revenue wise, health wise, like everything is going to be fantastic. And in addition to that, uh, I'm not trying to say like, oh, I pride myself. Like I'm a hard worker. Like I, I work hard, but there are things that you just need to really go and not expect the simple nine to five. Like there's, there's a way to go above and beyond. You just have, have to find your means to do so. Mine was switching to nights. Others, it could be working 18 hours a day. Others, it could be cutting out TV time. It could be cutting out these other things that are not working for you and really adapting your mentality and your lifestyle and making time for yourself. You will always have time. And it's making it for yourself and really taking the time that could be wasted and is wasted. Like I still waste time sometimes, you know, everybody does. Everybody loves TV shows, stuff like that. But taking those pinnacle moments and saying no to the easy way out and really taking that and putting into something that is meaningful, that is tough, but is a way to build. And working hard will always pay off. There's always the, the difference between working hard and working smart. And that's why I, one, wanted to work hard also work smart and that's why i joined coaching and this is this is not a plug for coaching because i honestly needed help starting up i had no idea what a videography or photography business did in general and i was like well i have zero basis i don't know pricing structure i don't know the back end i don't know any of the systems and that's why i really wanted to like invest in my success i was like okay like Honestly, all things considered, this is fantastic for me, for me personally. And it really resonated with me and really told me like, okay, well, this is something if I have help with, I can really make a reality. But yeah, so that's a little bit more on my story. And I also think it is extremely important in this business um, in like real estate in general, but especially in real estate photo and video, and in I guess in any business in general, that either your sales rep or yourself has to be incredibly social and in one in, influential, social, and extremely likable, likable by all, beloved by all, like all that sort of stuff. Because I mean, if you are, I, I'm actually by nature an introvert. Like I, way back in high school. Even in college, going into college, I hated presentations. I absolutely despise going up and like talking to people. I was like, oh, like introduce myself to them or have them introduce their, themselves to me. It was so incredibly tough. I would, my heart would palpate. I would be like cold sweating almost. And I just really had to go above and beyond and get out of my comfort zone, especially for this business. And that's why one working night going to have low energy but if you bring that energy back up and that's what i did i attend tons of in-person events from seminars to open houses to like absolutely everything i can to get my face out there and have like the smiling pers persona the enthusiasm everything going above and beyond to one make ends meet but two like really put yourself out there you you have to be uncomfortable and if you are a, an extrovert that is fantastic like use that as an asset i had to turn myself from an introvert into an extrovert and make myself into that asset so yeah that, that's that's a little bit more on one going into the business and how you should be sociable um, especially when communicating with your clientele they don't want someone who is going to be kind of like drawn back and like not communicate and like make sure everything is one in writing and say what you mean like really keep to your word that is that is huge it is huge and i mean at, at, on a moral standard too as well it's really big to keep your word but also just in business everything has to be transparent from pricing to like even if you're late to a shoot like i i've been late to shoots and it sucks i got stuck in traffic there's like a five car pile up in front of me and I had to let them know, 
but like hiding from the things that are hard to admit is not going to help anybody. So always going forth with transparency, energy, and enthusiasm are definitely my top three. So, and also asking, asking for help. Asking for help is like, not only is it helpful on, on a business level, but it's also helpful on a personal level. Like I, my, my kind of, how should I say it? My common saying when I was talking to realtors and other, even my clients, I'm extremely transparent with them. I said, hey, I'm working my butt off to get this to work. I'm working 40 hours at night in the operating room. I'm in, sometimes I'm in the surgical suite. Sometimes I'm in the endoscopy suite. Sometimes I'm elsewhere. Sometimes I'm scrubbed in, stuff like that. And that is my story. That is not like Jack's story. That is not Jane's story. That is my story. And that is something personal to me that I really incorporate into my business because I'm working nights, but during the day I'm doing listing photo and video. And that's where my passion lies. That's where my business lies. And that's where my clientele lies. And so I'm not just this one, oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of in it to be in it and just take a chance on me. Like I have a story behind it. Um, five, 10 years down the line, I, I want to pr provide for my kids, you know? And that's also what I'm leading with because previously I was entirely invested in medicine. I actually have my scrub still on and because I got off work, went straight to a shoot and then hopped on the call. And it's, it's really taking from the medical perspective. And I was like, well, I don't want to be the absent father type. I want to make sure I can be there and provide for my kids and like help raise them. Like, of course, not all medical professionals have that type of life, like say a select few, but even still the common concept is to one, ask for more time for your, with your kids and try to get off as early as you can, stuff like that. I said no to that lifestyle. And that's why my trajectory took that fork in the road and is definitely way different than it was seven-ish months ago when I started. So, and also kind of going along with that concept, one, having a personal story. It can be so many different things, but definitely have a personal story. So one, you can relate to your clientele, to friends, family, clients, realtors, absolutely like anyone you encounter because they'll, they'll resonate with the story. Not with, it could, it's not your brand. It's not your label. It's not like one, two, three, Main Street photography. It is you. And that's why I take my story and I incorporate it into my business because everyone has been there. The realtors have been there. They've, they didn't just jump into real estate and start making a million dollars a year, right? They really had to take it slow, have that full-time job. And with people who have the full-time job and trying to make this work, this is the message to you. Like, yes, it, it can work and it will work as long as you put in the consistency, put in the time, put in the effort, change your mindset from can I do this to yes I absolutely can do this like there's so many other people who have why would I be the outlier who cannot do this so and then also some more some more tips on the social aspect is be noticed be approachable and that kind of ties into the extrovert like making yourself into that extrovert and drawing yourself out from, oh, well, I want to hide and not really do this to like, be shameless about it. Like be very direct. And I mean, maybe read the room at an open house. If now's not the time to announce your services, now's not the time. Just like tour it out, but like be noticed, be approachable and really give off that vibrant aura of enthusiasm, smiling and like trying to bring everybody together. Cause that's exactly how, I try to be at events and it works every time. Like I'll go to events like several, several times a week. It's either open houses, webinars, seminars, um, even in-person events that I, I, I even pay for or sponsor for. And if I'm given a chance to speak and interact with people, like that is, that is heart and core to me. Like some of the best interactions with my clients ever and even potential clients. So Really get out there, try to be noticed, 
be approachable and enthusiastic and also just convey that nice message of happiness. And in addition to that, because people are seeing you for who you are, you're already creating a brand around who you are, why you are, why your business is how it is. And if people can trust you and you're transparent back to them, they can trust your business. It goes both ways. So, but in addition to that, it's, it's just really fantastic to take yourself and put yourself into that uncomfortable zone. And I've had to do that for the past six months, kind of reiterating my, my full-time job that I'm leaving here shortly. And it took a lot of, it, it was scary. Like putting in my two weeks was incredibly frightening. I was like, well, am I actually going to do this? I've been making 10K plus for the past several months. I've hit 15K, so I know it works. But I was still, I was still scared of giving up this 4K a month job. <laughs> and like kind of talking about it a little bit more, I'm like, well, this, this doesn't really make sense. Like why, why am I trading my time, my health, and my efforts for something that one is little return, but also just simply unhealthy for me personally. Like I know other people can do nights and have no problem, but maybe not 24 hours, you know? So, but th th this is something I'm really proud of. Like I, I really had to dig deep and ask myself to commit to that for, for over half a year. And now I'm, I'm really proud of the brand that I created, the image I've created, taking myself from the introvert, making an extrovert, and making myself into an asset that I didn't think would be possible prior to any of this, honestly. Like I, eight months ago, I was prepping for the MCAT. I, I was ready to go to medical school. I had a, a full ride to undergrad. I had a fully paid off master's and then medical school. But I was like, is, is this it? Is this what I need? Is this what I want? And ultimately that question is no. Even though I had everything gearing me toward a surgical residency and anesthesia residency that I so dearly wanted, like it's just not the path for me. And that is incorporated into my story, into my brand. And that's really what also keeps me going. I'm like, well, if this didn't work out if i didn't even find any of this i'd still be on that path to one not having enough time to spend with my kids or family and that's just it just doesn't speak to me and in addition to that having discipline over motivation is crucial because so many times from month zero to month i think it's about like seven ish or so from month zero to month seven, I have contemplated so many times about quitting, no matter how hard I've worked. I thought, well, like, I don't even know this is for me. I got incredible imposter syndrome. And I kept thinking to myself, is this, is this able to happen? Can I make this work? I see so many other people doing this and having su success. And I didn't see that success. Like, like in hindsight, I have and currently am succeeding but it's like always not enough and that motif always comes up time and time again i see someone else's success i'm like oh my gosh why why is this not my success too and i i have fallen victim to that jealousy of business you know like looking at someone else's position the grass is greener on the other side of the fence as opposed to my side but it is always a competition against oneself. And that's what the coaches have always reiterated to me. It's like, you're not looking at someone else's market. You're not looking at even the competitors in your market. It's always a you versus you. And that's the mindset thing that sets so many successful business owners like apart from the people who are competing for the money or competing for like business that's up for grabs and competing against each other. When in all honesty, like collaboration is fantastic. There are several rep members in my area who have been like here for way longer than I have. And so it might be intimidating to go into an industry where it's like, well, there's already people there. Like where can I like occupy this niche and not be like weeded out? And you can absolutely yes, absolutely yes. Because I 
you have a story. I have a story. And you have a goal and I have a goal. And like just building that and saying yes to yourself as opposed to saying no to others is immensely more beneficial for you in the long term and the short term um, than it is to just be like, uh, having that quitting mindset. So honestly, just build a brand that you're proud of and have that discipline over like little, little bits of motivation. Because you can always like take some success and apply it to your business and say, hey, that was really cool. I want to apply it here. And that's what I, that's what I've taken from multiple businesses around me. I've seen, I've seen so many successes and such vast success. I'm like, well, you know, that is awesome. And I want that for myself and I can create that for myself despite having to work 40 hours at night, despite having to stay up for more than 24 hours on end. Like I can definitely do this. And because I've been doing all of these difficult things already, I know I have the capacity to go up there. So oh, also touching a little bit more on motivation and doing absolutely everything to make things work and do whatever it takes. Like motivation will always come in little bits, but discipline is always a constant. And that's for the last six months. I said, my health went from 100%. I was going to compete in men's physique like this spring. And I had to forego that personal goal in order to facilitate the business. And like, yes, that's not ideal, but it was something that I was willing and apt and able to give up in order to reach where I am today. And now coming out of the job, I can definitely go back and rebuild myself, go compete, stuff like that. Because that's like something on a personal level, you know, you shouldn't have to quit the things that you enjoy doing in order to reach that level of success that you're thinking, but you might have to dial back a little bit in order to make the time, make that time from watching TV, video games, or just like any extraneous activity that is not serving your business and turn that into a business active time, working on your business, not just going to photo shoots, but working on your business. So motivation will light the fire, but discipline will always keep it going. So that's a, that's a motive to always live by. And touching again a little bit more on the comparisons, like it's a huge downfall. It is a huge downfall. And the coaches have told me time and time again, like, please do not compare yourself to others, but it's by human nature. And I still do it. I literally did it yesterday. I did it today. I'm like, but I'm human, you know, everyone is, and everyone has, there are certain assets that are fantastic and they're great at them and others have a different set, you know, we're all played out with different sets and that's okay. But what it boils down to is really doing whatever it takes and like indulge in the struggle, like in the moment, it is tough. It is so hard. It is incredibly tough. But if you indulge in the struggle at like that 10,000 foot view, when you're looking back when you I've risen 10 feet, you will definitely have all these stories to recount. Like I, I will look back on the past six months, probably a year and a half to two years from now and say, well, I'm so happy that I took that leap to go into nights to sacrifice so much in order to make it to where I am today. And I honestly think myself still now, I'm still in the job for even going so far as to doing that and risking my health and so many other aspects of life in order to make this possible. And within, there's only, we only have 24 hours within a day. And I had the day packed from shoot to shoot to shoot to driving to doing my, my shift at night to eating and then just having that be all within 24 hours and still being awake and then do that again the next day and then the next day. So, so many people will make excuses as to, oh, well, that's unhealthy. You really shouldn't be doing that. Like, but they're not me. Don't let someone else tell you what to do. Yes, I understand that it's, it's tough and it's so hard on the body. And I get that. I came from a medical profession. I had an emphasis in anatomy and physiology and how the body works. I know it's awful. 
I know it's like the, one of the worst things you can do to your body, but I still did it for six months and I'm still making the business as I am today. And it's, and it's growing. So really being able to crank down, have that discipline, have those little pieces of motivation that feed in those wins will definitely help you in the long run and in the short term, but in the long term, for sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're anything like me, you're probably a little bit tired after listening to that. And that is okay because you don't have to do that level of just all in to build a business successfully. Yeah, maybe if you don't, you won't grow as quickly, but that's okay. Everybody has their own timeline and it's not important that you match everybody else's. This video just goes to show you what's possible if you're all in and committed. And that's definitely what Warren is. So big congrats to Warren. And if you'd like to learn more about our coaching program, the same program that Warren was in, you'll see the link down below where you can apply and talk to Rod, Carl, or Philippe on my team. I'll see you in the next one.